All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be playing TGC Tours Platinum, round number four of the Georgia Championship. This is at Huntington Town, and uh, we had one of the more embarrassing rounds we've had in a long time in round three. Uh, we had a bad attitude the whole round. It just, we, we couldn't really get anything right. This I, I know a lot of people will probably look at an eight under and plat and say it's not that bad, but truly... Um, it was. It was that bad. So, this course is like a bad day, 10 under. Um, so, to shoot an 8 there, it's just just not good enough. Um, but it is what it is. I need to hold myself to high standards because if I do not, the learning stops and uh, we start stalling. We want to keep climbing. We want to you know, keep going up that world golf rank. We're at 41 right now. We want to be top 25 by the end of the season. So, we have a long way to go. We have a lot of growing to do. So... Let's hopefully put that round behind us and uh, start off on a fresh foot today. So back to these pin set four, very high winds from the north, firm, firm, and fast. Tricky conditions for round four. If you guys wouldn't mind dropping a like for the video, it does help out a lot. It's completely free. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to really say. If you're new here, subscribe. Let's go. Let's hopefully have a day. Very high winds are going to be, you know, tricky conditions today, but... Best of luck to you as you endeavor. Eh, uh, I thought that would clear easily. That's just a complete misjudge. I'm shocked that came up so short. I must have taken quite a bit off. This is going to be a tricky shot from here. We're in for it now. This lands in here. I think we can actually hit the 112. Whoa, that's a poor swing. Wow, and that's so far right. Even with the big fast. Horribly one. judged two shots there. But can we make our way out of here with the birdie? That's the big thing. Two really poorly judged shots. Poorly judged, poorly executed. But we do have a birdie feet. Birdie putt from 18 feet on 155s. It's going to slide over there. On a good line. Ah, still low, man. I played that forever out there too. Here we go. Par, par on one. It. it is what it is. I mean, Wind is right bad judge, right? Bad judge. Should be smooth All right, much better easy. judgment on the first shot this time around. Three hundred and seventy-seven yards gets all the way down there. And just a touch of loft on this. Ooh, what's up with my tempo? It's going to be hard to score if you can't hit tempos. Third shot. It's a chip chance. Nope, it's low and short. That's a nice chip. Well done. Well, we'll never know if we judged that shot well or not because the tempo was so poor. It's weird because the tempo felt perfectly fine, too. But that happens sometimes. Just stick with it. I'm liking it. This would be a good time to have a good first tempo. This would be a really good time for it. It's a tricky pin, though, because it falls away off the back, too. See if we can get this right. Tempo's good. Just a little... I played it a little too safe out to the right. Otherwise, it's right up there. I did what was necessary to hit the shot, but... Wasn't ballsy enough to play it to where I needed to. We get this to stay up, though. Let's go. Huge eagle putt. All right. Two under through three. It's not the worst start now. We've only hit one good tempo into a green so far. So the goal was 
50 win. under. We're not going to get there because of that round three, but I'm just going to, I'm going to deloft one all the way down. This will funnel back right. The tempo is not a problem except for the fact that my tempo has been a big problem so far. It's a crosswind, but it is into us. I'm going to actually hit this straight up and just see what happens. We're just going to be cautious with where we aim this. I don't want to miss this right. And we won't with that swing. I'm actually going to reset my... I'm going to reset my game really quick because it's very odd that my tempo is this bad. So everybody stand by. While I... Do this. We're gonna refit. All right. We'll see if that helps. I don't. Like I said, it's very rare that my tempo is this this poor. So we'll see if this helps it at all. It might just be me. Should go back right. It never really does though. All right, it's another par. Par, par, eagle, par. Go figure. I'm going to take a practice swing, too. 1 more and then we'll be we'll be good. You know we don't practice swing here. Why? What why? What was going on here? All right. That's it. No more. No more. That's it. I'm try to get this up there a little bit. Beautiful swing. All right, good swing, but it was only 96%. So not really good swing. What I mean is good tempo, finally. But fortunately, we can't match the tempo with the full-powered swing. And now here we are. So far, it's been a big game of nice chipping. <laughs> nice chipping. It's been a game of whack a fuck so far, though, to be completely honest. 300 through 5, we probably don't even deserve to be at 300 right now. But here we are. Good chipping. Got to get our tempo back. I didn't think this bunker was in play. It just barely clears it. I was worried about those other two bunkers. Never mind this one. All right, we had a perfect shot in here, and I forget which round it was. It might have been last round. Kicked us straight out into the crap. Let's see if this one can be any better. Don't see that every day. I guess you're just gonna take that driver. Uh, and the answer to that question is no. Just find bunker, please. Dude, really? That rolled through all that sand. That's that's actually crazy. Not that I deserved like a, a, anything great there, but um, it was like thirteen fifty six. All right, let's see what happens here. Big fast gonna make us a little long. Hopefully this bites. All right, it's a chip chance for for birdie. I hate these little chips though. Got to just start it on the right line. All right, good birdie, good chip in back to back chip chip ins. Four hundred through six. We are scrounging our way through this round right now. It's not pretty, but. Somehow we're, we're managing. That won't be the case forever, though. I'm going to try to get one up there because why not? One oh four is not going to do it unless we get lucky. Oh, this one's going towards the beach. Needed like a one oh seven. Oh, this is going to kick through. 
Oh, be good. Oh, this is a chip chance. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, this is the chip we should make. Oh my god, I hit it straight. Why? Why? Why do you why are you the way you are? Such a good tee shot. Wasted opportunities. A dead straight chip. It was so simple. But we'll take the tee shot. It was a good tee shot. We're gonna look at the positives today. I'm gonna deal off this a little bit. I do think this is a little short. I knew I needed to be further left. I was further left, and I, I just was a weenie about it. Like, you gotta, you gotta trust yourself sometimes. Be willing to be wrong, you know. Be willing to be wrong. Please turn a little bit more. Let's keep this going. That's your Massive putt. Somehow, some way, we are six under par. I just, just don't ask us how. Forty-one under. I mean, with a huge back nine, fifty is fifty still a possibility. We are not going to be in the sand on the right today. That that I can promise everybody. We've spent enough time on the beach. Leave ourselves a weird number, though. I'm just gonna actually. I'm just gonna use a little, use a little spin, and um, partial this instead of using loft. Yep. I, sh I I felt it. I felt that. I was just a little too short. Nope. Missed that one, too. We've made a lot of pars on this hole. A lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes on that hole. 41 under. 6 under front 9. We didn't play our best, but we did somehow score fairly well. Should have de-lofted that a little bit, but it's going to be fine. Wrong with that. It's out there just about 300 yards. About 185 yards or so to the pin. Just got to get the distance right. The shot's coming in nice. Uh, I was hoping the wind would take this just a little bit more, but it's not bad. And there's a backstop back here that it might use. It does a little bit. All right, pretty good shot. See if we can make the putt. Nine feet left. So far, so good. All right, that's a good putt. We've made a lot of those putts this week. Forty-two under par. Eight left to get to the fifty. That you know, really, we we should have got to this week after the first two rounds. Got to hit a good tempo here. This should bounce left, but it might just sit. Oh, no, it doesn't. Takes the hill beautifully. I wasn't sure if that was going to release down that hill or not. It does, and it's a great shot. It's a tap in. 43 under par now. We might as well try to get up here as well, right? We already got up to a 400-yard hole once today. Yep. We're gonna play from the bushes. I think I think this was the best angle. Uh let's see. I think this is a little below our feet. I aim a little further over than we think we need to. It was not. It was fine right where it was. Kicks dead straight, though. We get a, we get a break there. This could be a See if we can make a payoff. It's a pretty good shot. Just misjudged our foot lie, which we couldn't see, so...
Really tricky putt. Just left it a little high. Pretty good effort. Uh, unfortunately, we give away a birdie there. It was a birdie hole. We just maybe a little too aggressive off the tee. I'm going to try. I mean, it's a three-shotter if I don't hit a good shot. It's a three-shotter if I hit a good shot anyway, I think. So we might as well try to put one right here and just see what happens. Maybe we can get, like, a driver lie that's good or not. Do we just send one up here? The only problem is if you send one up here and end up in here, it's a pretty tough shot. We've been there a bunch before. I don't think you would do that. I think we're going to try to play this a little on the smarter side. Maybe loft one up, let it get into the wind. Take this fairway instead, or this light rough instead. That's that's what I meant. We wanted the light rough here, of course. All right, let's see what happens with this. I didn't hit it. That's I've done that like five times this week, where I just didn't swing the club forward at all. All right. Breaks a little more at the end. Ooh. Or not. And here we go. This one's Didn't deserve it after that third shot. 43. Okay, Pretty poor back nine so far. Really hole. poor back nine. All right. Good tee shot. It's a tight area to get through, but it gives us the benefit of uh, you know, a wedge in. I'm going to I'm going to hit this. I think this will be fine. A little bit of backspin. Looks like this will be on the dance floor. This should be perfect. Yeah, that'll Sit. play. All right. Good shot. 5 feet to the cup from here. This putt's tracking. Nice and firm hit the back of the cup. Number 7. It is a birdie. 4 holes left. I mean, 47, 48 is it's okay, you know? It's okay. This would be a, a pretty good final round if we could get to that. That is a tricky pin, though. Just hit the fairway. It's going to be a super difficult shot. It's a tough pin. That's a pin four for you. A little bit more D-loft. We're going to try to get aggressive with this shot. Ninety-six percent was not quite what I was looking for, but a distance was actually better. That's a pretty good shot. Alright, that's a good birdie. Really good birdie. Alright. 45 under. A couple holes left. 49 is the best we can do unless we have a hole out. Let's see what happens here on the 16th. That's slow. Oh, it's actually just on the slow side, but unfortunately it's going to kick us way off. Let's get out of this green side rough cleanly. Tough shot now. Should maybe flop this. I think I'll have a better chance of stopping it. We're on a downhill lie, so. Sit. Yeah. That thing just runs away. It's a tough shot. We left ourselves in a bad spot, right? So let's try to avoid a bogey. Heading towards the hole. And we make a good putt. All right, good par save. Two holes left. 
45. All right, it's a longer hole, but we can cut a lot of it off. There we go. Nice contact on that one. Uh, don't bounce left. All right, that's fine. We're about 140 yards out. A little bit of loft, a lot of spin. I want this to land right on the edge of the green. It's not going to, and this might kick way forward. It held a little bit of its spin. It's not a bad shot. Could have been a little bit better, but that's that's being maybe a little bit nitpicky. Alright, that's a great putt. Really good touchy downhill putt. 46 under par. Let's see what the wind's like on this last par 5. We have not played this hole that well outside of round 1. And this is going to be a tricky one now in this wind. 555. But it's dead into the wind. We're going to just de-loft one. We're going to try to overpower it a little bit. Okay, 104. Try to get this out there like 300 yards. And then maybe see if we can take the rest of it on. Oh, yeah. Do we need all of this? I think we do. I think we actually need to overpower it potentially a little bit as well. Driver off the fairway, yep. Are you? That's the risk. You run. Setting up here Lay up. For our Lay up. Shot. Do we really want to hit this? I don't know that we do, but we've really botched the pitch. Uh, we've botched our flop shots this entire round. If I hit this full with just full spin, I, I do think this lands in here. The problem is if I'm wrong and we're short short, it's obviously awful. I think maybe we just do this. Try to go a little past the pin because we tend to short these a bit. Alright, this should be good. Go in. Alright, beautiful. Nice finishing hole. It's a birdie. I, I think that was... A that was a decent round. What did we end up at? 12 under par. We're going to look at the stats really quick before we let you guys go. It's a 12 under in the very high winds. It's a pretty competitive route outside of this guy, Hoodie Blaze, who had a 15. Uh, Wolby shot a 13. Bubs only shot a 10. Semsey had a really nice round at 16 under par. Uh, EP shot a 9 for 45 total. He's probably kicking himself for that. Um... Not bad. Let's uh let's take a look at the stats for the week. If we had just played decent in that third round, we get to 50 easily. Uh, but it is what it is now. We're putting it behind us at this point. Uh, we'll just look at the full-on event stats. So, 80% fairways. I, I'd really like to see that number a little higher. I know it's not bad on the on the leaderboard, but greens is awful 77 percent is just not it's not good enough look at that ep up there 93 percent. that's a great week out of him uh 24 and a half or almost 25 feet proximity could definitely improve we'll be at 16 feet that's that's the goal right there under under 20 feet is the goal but that like that's where all the the best players sit right so that's one area we're looking to improve one putt percentage was actually good this week 72% leads, you know, leads the Xbox guys, which is actually pretty impressive, especially after last week's debacle. No three putts, 100% of short putts, which is pretty typical. 91% of our medium putts, which I think we missed probably one or two. One or two too many, right? Our long putting, though, is pretty good. 42%, we'll take that. And then the rest of the stuff is, you know, whatever. Birdie conversion, 71%. It's somewhat competitive, but anyway, I'm rambling a little bit. I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you guys so much, and um, we'll see you guys tomorrow for another video.